welcome back from some letter club members. Today I have an announcement about Mod Contest 2017 DLC proposals. Hey, as you might know, the winners of 2017 Mod Contest got the chance to propose a commercial DLC. We've got several proposals now and we'd love to hear what you think about them. Therefore, we created a tiny survey for you guys to vote for the DLCs you like. You'll find the survey here. Please keep in mind the survey is not here to pick the winning proposal but to find out what you guys would love to see in Farming Simulator 17. So feel free to vote but also tell us what you think. I'm happy to read your feedback. You'll find all the proposals here. I will also leave leave this link in the uh, description of the video so you guys can go here and vote. Okay, let's look at some of these. DD Mod Passion Michio Gaspardo. Okay, this is this one. Looks like subsoiler right there. A plow. Cultivator called the Diablo. Pantera cultivator, Jumbo Rapid Plus sower, Jumbo Rapodo Plus, Corona, Deborah Pro F, that's a mower right there, Deborah Pro Combo one, that's a mower of course, Ella Pro, that looks like a t yeah a tether. Gorilla Pro 2 Wind Rower. That's actually a pretty cool design. A baler right there. On this baler, I guess it's talking about maybe trying to do it different sizes. And net binding, net twine binding, and plastic film binding. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's look at the next one. Frontier Design Sunset Valley. This is by uh, Bullet Bill and Oxygen David. Welcome to the Frontier Designs DLC proposal for Farming Simulator. Imagine yourself sit standing in a grass meadow facing towards the west. To your right, the fields slope gently up a nearby ridge. Beyond is a blue sky. To your left is a main road running through the edge of a large valley before it slopes down to join the valley floor. Behind you to the east, the road continues into moorland, past stone wall fields, and beyond you can see a few croggy mountains. Okay, I'm going to leave, if you guys want to check out the rest of this, you guys can. But right now I'm going to show you the picture right there. It's beautiful, actually. Seeing that's uh, Bullet Bill and them's new uh, thing, Frontier Design. Okay, Mapper's Paradise. This one looks really nice. I already looked at it. Okay. farm looks beautiful yeah most of this is a different language so I can't really see it's gonna have a cow barn manure cleaning with new manure pit deep storage pits with feeding crane bell elevator with bell storage calves breeding see as you can look at the map right here see right there machinery sheds bell storage and storage pit cow pasture manure pits right over there milk chamber Farmhouse, cow barn. See, there's a milk chamber, the cow barn right there, the milking machine. See, in the milk tank, see it, and you can actually do milk loading. Uh, I actually love this one. Like in the already existing game, you can buy cows. The only difference is that each cow receives a name and an ID. The use of the cow can be used to determine whether the cow's calves or serves only as a dairy cow. After calving, the cow will automatically return to the dairy cow. Calves must be fed twice a day. It takes a certain time, two weeks, until a calf becomes a dairy cow. Cows must be milked twice a day. In the morning at 7 o'clock and in the evening at 1700. Milking can only be taken place when the cows were fed, the stall is empty, the cleanliness in the stable must be 50%. Milking is started by a trigger. However, the actual milking process is only replaced by an animation. Animation. See, that's cool. Okay, and then there's also this bailing elevator. It's really neat on there, too. If 
feeding cranes. See, with the feeding cane, both bales can be transported as well as food from deep silos can be absorbed. The feed can be done with the crane. From the deep silos, from the bale slash silo haul directly into the cow shed and be fed to the cows. However, the feed can also be loaded into a wagon or poured into a feed trolley. The bales can be picked up with this crane, poured into a feeding trolley, or loaded into a trolley. See, there's the manure pit. See, you actually have to clean up your own cow manure. So you have to muck your own stalls. Cow dung is created in the cow shed. The condition is, of course, the straw was served. The cow dung has to be absorbed by tractor, wheel loader, or manure fork in the barn. There is a hole in the cow shed. The dung must be poured into the hole, and the hole is a conveyor belt to the outside, which directly discharges into the dung hole. It's a pretty nice map. Okay, let's look at the modern classics farming pack. Okay, let's just look at some pictures over here. Mossy Ferguson 3070. It's going to have a 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 90, and 95 series. Okay, then there's the 5100, 20, 30, 40, and 50. Oh, that's nice. JCB Fast Track 100 series. Uh, the Fint Favorite 500C series. The Four Dragon Crow Titan. Uh, the Coverland LB100. Amazon D830 Special. Amazon UG2200. Strawman v VS6. That looks like a manure wagon right there. Crone AM243S. Crone Big Pack 8080. Okay, that's out of that. That's the modern classics. Okay, let's look at this one. Actually, I'm just going to pull all these up. So we can go through these real quick. Okay, Fent DLC. We're just going to mostly look at the pictures. Okay, there's Fent 900 TMS Vario. Fent 800 Vario. Change body color, rim colors. Fent 900 Favorite Video Vario. Fent 500 Favorite. Fent 500 Exxon. Fent Oxen Special Tools. Fent Specific Weights. Okay, there's that one. Okay, this is from Team FSI Modding. Okay, let's look at this. There's a potato planter. I think most of the stuff to do with potatoes because this is not much stuff for potatoes in the game. Potato planter GL32F. It's a two row planter with separate fertilizer box. A weeder GH2. Weeder GH6. Wind rower WH200. That's a pretty cool wind rower, actually. Wind rower WR200. Wow. So, I'm wondering if, if they're going to be left on the ground and then we just wind row it and pick it up like that with maybe a loading wagon or something. Okay, bunker harvester SC15060. A scooper PS500, finally a new uh, conveyor system. Box filler GBF, no box system. Storage shed. To completion of the DLC pack, a placeable storage system with ventilations will be made with visual details and some functions from the default game. That's cool. Okay, there's that one. Okay, let's look at the next one. DLC for shellac. Can't really see. I, I can't even read any of this stuff. Okay, Big M420. I know people have been asking about that. And the Letty and Hacklesack Hackleswagon ZX. The Filgo Gigantic. And the Pottinger Top 812. And the Pottinger Combine. 
Strawman Giga Trailer. The Branter C18045. Okay, there's that. Okay, last one. DLC equipment. Animals. Okay, let's try to... I think this is mostly going to be wagon. I think it's pages, actually. That's why I'm messing up. Yes, it's pages. Okay. We got... The uh, Pomont. Another Pomont. I think it's mostly going to be Pomont. <laughs> Okay, that one's just a question mark. Okay, the Rhino FX HD. And it looks like a feeding wagon. Another one, Rhino FX 6. I like this. That, that looks like a straw below or a feeding wagon. The Buffalo. Wow. 20,000 liters. That's a manure. Wow, that's cool. This looks like a uh, like a straw blower right here, a little bit, because it's what well right there that icon. Okay, then this one, no idea yet. Remember, these are all DLC proposals. Okay, that's that. Okay. I would have to say my favorite ones are probably Frontier Design, of course, and Mapper's Paradise Bavarian Map. Okay. And then also another little update. Let's see my battery. 1 hour 54 minutes. Okay, another little update. Uh, Bullet Bill has actually messaged me about West Coast. Okay, here we go. Bullet Bill says, I am planning on releasing the West Coast on both PC and console, subject to testing approval from Giants. You will be able to clean out the cows on the map. A new feature as well is the new grass te is the grass now has distance textures for all growth stages. This means you have a realistic get cut grass texture, which also blends in with the distance. Hard to explain it in detail, but it, if you go to the testing screenshot topic, you can see a few pictures there where even the meadows in the distance, you can tell... They have been cut and whether there are windows of grass still on the fields. The map also has custom terrain textures, custom crops to, crop to textures. In fact, I think there is only one default textures in the whole map. See, that looks amazing map. And he messaged me that. And uh, well, this is all, all going to be for this video. Uh, stay tuned tomorrow. I will be releasing some Let's Play videos. And make sure you like and uh, subscribe to this uh video. Thank you. Bye.